Okay, in this tutorial I'll show you another really powerful trick for helping you build your models in the scene. And say for instance, in this case, maybe this is going to be my um, octopus and I'm going to attach tentacles to it at different locations. Well, if I was to just parent an object to it, it's going to look at this object center, this little orange dot there. No matter where I rotate it, that orange dot stays in the center of this object unless I move it. And we've moved things before in other lessons we've moved that origin around and that's what we'll do in here as well with another object so what I'll do is I'll add a curve to the scene as well with shift A I'll add a curve path to the scene and there's my curve it is I'll show you here in a second I'll press RZ I'll just rotate it a little bit I'll zoom in and then I'll go into edit mode with tab and there's all the control points of the curve there's a control point there's a control point so I could just take this control point and move it along and the control point changes the shape of the curve. All right. Now notice in here there's an orange dot associated with this curve right here as well and that's the origin of the curve. Well I want to move the origin in this case because if I'm going to attach a tentacle I want to attach it at some other location like either there or there. So what I want to do first is I'll, I'll go back into edit mode and I'll select this point here. And then when I'm in here I'll press shift S and then I say move the cursor to the selected. So now my cursor is at that particular point. All right? And then, f then I'm going to leave edit mode and then I'm going to come in here to the object and I'm going to do a transform. And in this case I'll use transform origin to the 3D cursor. We've used these other two before but the origin to the 3D cursor and there my orange dot has now moved to this position on the curve. That essentially is now the center of this curve like that. And we can verify that by just saying if you look over in here where this pivot point says pivot around the median point like this. If I was to just press RZ for a minute now it rotates around that point instead of rotating around the center of the curve. Otherwise it rotate around that center like that. Alright so that's the first step. Now the next step is I want to parent this whole thing to this sphere because this would be the body of the octopus maybe and then if you move it then I'd want the tentacles to follow along. Well let's just try and parent it directly and then I'll control Z it in a second. So with this selected I'll press shift and select that as well. I'll do my regular control P to parent it and I'll parent it to the object. And notice what gets parented. Now the origin gets parented to let's see if I go into wireframe. The origin gets parented to the origin. That's what's happening when you parent something like that. All right. So let me go back into texture mode here. So that's where that line is pointing. It's pointing from that origin to that origin. Well that's a good start in the sense that I know that that's the point that I want to parent to this object. But I don't want it to parent it to the center because what if I had all eight tentacles and each one of them is just going to the very center of the octopus. Well maybe that's not the case. Maybe I want these things to be parented around the edge or maybe it's a spider or something else and I want to put these legs at different locations. Alright so I'm going to press Control Z and get rid of that parent-child relationship right there. So in this case I'll do, I'll do it again but I'll let me see. Actually, one thing I'll do first, I'm going to go select this object and I'm going to go into edit mode and then I'm going to make sure I'm in vertex select mode right there. And then I'm going to go pick a vertex. And maybe I'll pick, oh, I don't know. That, good, that vertex is good enough right here. And then in this case, I want to parent this to this vertex. And I'm just going to highlight that for a second. The only reason I'm doing that is so I can put my cursor to the selected. So there my cursor is at this location. And then I'm going to leave it there. It's just for reference. So now I'm going to go reparent this. I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to shift select this. right, And then I'm going to go before I press control P um, since this is the object that's going to be the parent. It's the last one that's selected. I'm going to press tab and I go into edit mode. It brings this one into edit mode. right? And now with it in edit mode I can press control P. And now the different, now you see it says make the vertex the parent. So instead of making the object the parent, it's the vertex. So basically this is the point that's selected. So with that selected I'll make that the vertex parent like that. And if you look closely, 
that line now goes to that vertex right there right so and then there's one more thing I want to do so now I know it's at least parented to that vertex so if I leave this mode and just grab the sphere and move the sphere yikes move the sphere then the curve is actually following along and it's attached directly to that point and not to the you can see it's not attached to the center at this point now the next thing is how do I get this point positioned directly at that vertex why well, could eyeball it and try and move it around but your better bet is to we'll just leave that cursor let's see make sure that cursor nope I've moved my cursor so I'm gonna come back in here I'm gonna press shift s and make sure my cursor is to the selected right there I'm gonna leave edit mode I'm gonna grab the curve again since my point I'll, I'll go into edit mode and I'll verify that that's my selected point alright and then from there I'm gonna press shift s and I'll move the selection to the cursor so what's selected is the vertex of the line and I'm gonna move it to where the cursor is located and so there it is over there so there's my point and we can verify that so let me rotate that on Z RZ and there it is there so now it's attached to a specific point on that sphere like that alright so with that being done there then you could start doing other things then you could for instance come over here and make a circle shift A add a curve circle this is a Bezier circle I'll scale it down S I'll scale it down pretty small like that just for starters I mean there's many many ways to do these things I'm just showing you all kinds of options through these lessons because it always turns out that you're doing an animation and you have to do one little thing and then you just need that one tool that you may need to know about and so this might be just that tool someday alright so I'll gra grab the curve and then I'll go over to the curve button up for the object data since that's that object and down here in the bevel object I'm gonna go pick this Bezier circle alright so that maps it to there so now I have this tube essentially attached to this thing to the sphere and if I move this sphere around it always attaches and it's at that point so then you can attach other things to other specific locations so well I think that gives you an idea and well that doesn't really look like much of an octopus but I think you did see where I was heading with it anyway alright well that's it for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson